I made a new Tmux plugin that brings even more Nerdfont goodness to your workflow. Let's go check it out. So the plugin is called Tmux Nerdfont Window Name and it takes your Tmux windows and it just simplifies it down basically to a Nerdfont icon. Things like shell scripts and Vim and even things like LazyGit and it just matches them up. And for me, I have noticed that it creates a really streamlined and minimal environment, which you know I love. And it's very easy to set up. You do need Tmux, of course, and I'm using the Tmux plugin manager, also known as TPM, to drive this, which is also very easy to set up. You just add a few lines. You run this clone command, and then you add a few lines to your Tmux config. Then all that it takes is adding this line to your Tmux config file. And so if we look at my Tmux config, we'll see I have it here. And you just run prefix, so control B, and then capital I will trigger TPM and it will install the package for you. Now, as a short summary of how it works and what's going on behind the scenes, it's just a shell script and it takes the current name of the window and it looks at it and it decides what icon it should swap it out for. So fish Z shell bash, right? Uses just this little shell icon, Vi, Vim, Neo Vim, Lunar Vim. I've come up with a few already, show the Vim icon and you kind of get the point. It just kind of repeats and this is open source. So I would love contributions for anyone that wants to extend this and add more features, pull requests are welcome. And then it uses the Tmux set option and it's called automatic rename format. And so the way that this option works is you pass it an argument. So in our case, we're going to pass it the shell script and the argument is the pane current command. So you'll even notice that if I were to have two of these open, right, this one is a shell script. And if I move upwards to this screen, uh, you see the icon change to Vim. So pretty cool. And this really starts to play out nicely when I have kind of multiple things going on at once. So maybe I'll have a shell script running and my code editor and maybe lazy git pops up. And so it's clear enough that I know what's going on, but it takes very few characters. In fact, it's only one character per window. And I just, it's just so aesthetically pleasing to me. So I find this plugin to be very minimal. I just really enjoy getting everything out of the way that doesn't need to be there. And so Tmux is still serving its purpose, but I'm not having to see so many characters. It kind of blends away using the icons. I really enjoy it so far. I'm looking forward to more contributors. So please go and fork it, make it your own. I have more Tmux videos coming. So I really enjoy if you hit that subscribe button, like this video, and I'll see you in the next one.